time for Rewind, or what I like to call the Feeling Old segment, brought to you by our friends at AMC. This is a segment where we talk about the film celebrating their 10th anniversaries this week and the movie celebrating their 20th anniversaries this week. And whereas last week was a phenomenal right. anniversary weekend, this one, not so much. <laughs> we have, celebrating its 10th anniversary, speaking of Mad Max Fury Road, Charlize Theron's Aeon Sucks. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Aeon Flux. We also have, celebrating their 20th anniversaries, White Man's Burden with Harry Belafonte and John Travolta, and Wild Bill uh, with uh, Jeff Bridges. Schnepp, which of these films stand out to you? Uh, I know the ones that don't stand out, because I didn't see Wild Bill, so I can't comment <laughs> on that. Um, White Man's Burden, also didn't see that. I just remember reading about it. I was like, wow, that's a weird kind of alternate universe freak fest. Never saw it. Um, Ian Flux stands out to me because I loved MTV's Liquid Television, and specifically I love Peter Chung's Ian Flux. I thought that was one of the most groundbreaking, really fun, super trippy, freaky, spy, psychosexual, animated freak fest things that was on Liquid Television. Every time Liquid Television was on, I couldn't wait to see another like three minute weirdo thing where <laughs> Ian Flux would die. How is she going to die every episode? And then they actually did a series where she didn't die, but it's like really fun, really cool movie, not so much. Actually, movie kind of a disappointment. I give them props for trying to do such a super weird animated film and adapt it and they tried in many ways to adapt a lot of the super weird things that are in that cartoon they just don't they don't lend themselves to adapting very well and the movie itself kind of fell flat and they did a lot of these things that aren't in the animated series just like dumb story cliches like really why are you sticking that into Ian Flux it doesn't even need it so they kind of ruined it and I can't recommend seeing it other than like an adjunct if you're an Ian Flux fan and you have the animated series watch this as like the bizarro strange experiment that they did that didn't work that Charlize Theron is in and she's great in everything so Christian Ian Flux I remember when that came out I was super excited to see it because I remember the hype behind it, and I'm like, oh, this movie delivers. It, it could have really done a lot for, even for bringing, with the series sure. and everything. Like, And I'll never, I saw it in the Paramount lot, and I'll never forget, I saw it was like a, a test screening beforehand, and there was this guy who looked like he just found out like he lost everything he had, <laughs> and he's just like, what was that? Oh. What was that? And he's screaming, and I'm like, that sums up what the oh. movie was. It was so bad. It yeah. was so bad, and I just remember watching it, going, oh, man, this is the, every bit of potential that this had is just gone mm -hmm. because of this movie, and it was, it was disappointing. Um, I actually, I did see White Man's Burden back in the day, and I remember that it was a really cool premise, and, um, and I remember both Harry Belafonte and um, John Travolta. Travolta were really good in it, but it just it just lost. I think it lost a, a lot of. Um, I don't know. Like uh, it, it became a lot not very realistic towards the middle of it, and then the end. I thought was. I, I remember watching it as a, as a kid and being interested in, in the premise, and then it just. It, I think it was fairly boring. Was it like a parable or was it preachy? I just don't get it. As it's no, like, I mean, it's yeah, an idea, I mean, but it's, it's hard, like hard not like to be. Okay. It yeah, was like a parable. Yeah, and it's hard not to be preachy in in that it, right. the movie in general too. So I, you kind of expect that going in, and right. that wasn't the problem with it. I just remember just being. It, it just wasn't the execution. I think was that's the word. It was yeah. a yeah. great concept. Yeah. It was a great idea. And if some filmmaker came along today and tried it, I would still be fascinated with what they could do. Right. However. Premise is just premise. It doesn't matter if it's the greatest premise in the world. It's about execution. To me, it didn't execute very well. And that's Aeon Flux as well. Mm. Aeon Flux was such a it was mess. So it was such a mess despite the great casting and all the hope that it had. And Wild Bill's not bad, actually. I, I kind of like Wild Bill. I had no problem with it. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.